So IPL 2018 is up and running and how interesting that the process of retention should be announced a day before one of the biggest away series India have played for a long time. So there's IPL, there's India versus South Africa, everybody's happy you couldn't ask for more. So what about the retentions themselves? I think there's been one mega surprise. A couple of steals, at least with two players, there's been a fantastic arrangement that the franchises have managed, but otherwise largely predictable. And I'll start this analysis with the most predictable one of them all. I can't whistle, but I would have otherwise. Whistle Podu has gone exactly as per prediction. MS Dhoni for 15, Suresh Raina for 11, Ravindra Jadeja for 7 is not a bad buy. You know, I think if Jadeja had gone into the auction, he might have nudged that figure, might even have gone a little bit more if the auction dynamics had gone in his favour. But the fact that he's gone back to playing with Dhoni and Raina to the yellow of CSK would have gone in his favour. So they had the option of going with 33 crores, they've gone with 33 crores. Now it'll be interesting to see who they use for their two RTM cards. They can use both overseas, they can use both for overseas players. And uh, well, they can, they've got so many there to choose. I've no doubt at all they'll go with Bravo. And I think it's a very good expectation that they will go with McCullum. So that, that, that was CSK. Right, let's move on. Delhi Daredevils is very, very interesting. Chris Morris as the first retention was predictable. I think they've tried to go value for money with Shreyas Ayer and with uh, Risha Pan because while the deduction is 33, they're actually only ending up paying 22.1. And so they've said, look, 80 crores is a lot of money. We wouldn't have spent 80 anyway. So we've gone with these three. I think of the two Indian players, I think, I think Morris has got a really good deal, a little above a million dollars, goes a long way in South Africa. He's a good player. It's a good deal for him. I think between Ayer and Rishabh Pant, I think Pant is by far the luckier player. He's had a season to forget. Uh, last year in the IPL, he had a few, a few good games, but they've obviously banked on two things. They've banked on potential and they've banked on the Delhi Connect. If I was Rishabh Pant and I was just offered eight crores, I would be doing double cartwheels in my backyard. So I, I think uh, Pant is among the luckier people to come out of this, of this retention. So there you are, that is Delhi Daredevils. Now what about Mumbai Indians? And I'm coming to my first absolute steal. There is no doubt at all that they were going to go with Rohit Sharma at number one, Hardik Pandya and Jaspreet Bumrah. Rohit Sharma at 15, Rohit Sharma is Mr. Mumbai Indians, no doubt at all. Now, Hardik Pandya at 11, I, well, if he'd gone into the auction, he may have got those, may not have got those, but he was a very, very good pick at 11. Which brings me to my first absolute steal. Jaspreet Bumrah goes into the auction. Remember what Timmel Mills got for RCB? What do you think Jaspreet Bumrah would have got in the auction? Close your eyes, you start, bring the gavel down, start at 10 crores. They've retained him for seven. So obviously there's a huge pride of playing for MI. There's the, the loyalty, the family value, the family owning MI talks about. But if you can get Jaspreet Bumrah for seven crores, wow, you've negotiated really, really well. So MI get three top players. They've got an all-rounder, they've got a fast bowler, they've got a match-winning batsman, they've already got the construct of a team over there. I have no doubt that the first RTM will be used for Kyron Pollard and then they will use one more for Prunal Pandya. They've got their core group of five when that happens. So I think MI have done exactly what they wanted. I think the team that's done it the smartest is actually Kolkata Knight Riders. Obviously, the negotiation with Gautam Gambhir hasn't worked out. They've decided, look, it's time to move on. But I don't think they have a captain just yet, unless they get back Gautam Gambhir at a very good price and then talk to him about leading them for another year. But they've gone with Sunil Narayan. They've got a good price on Sunil Narayan. I think they've got a steal on Andre Russell. Andre Russell was not on a big contract with KKR. He's not been around for a, for, for a year, no income. He's suddenly thinking, I'm getting a million dollars and a bid goes a long way back in Jamaica. Let me take it. Andre Russell for seven crores is a fantastic buy. And once again, KKR have shown that they are the really good negotiators value for money side. Now, what did they do with their RTMs? There is no room for Chris Lynn because you can only have two overseas players retained. Chris Lynn will get a lot of money and if KKR want him back, they'll have to pay a lot of money. I think they'll go Kuldeep Yadav with one RTM. They might go Manish Pandey, Robin Uttapa, whatever with the other RTM. But I think KKR have got a good deal with two match winners in their team. Now Kings 11. I thought they might go clean slate. 
But remember, a left arm spinner who bats his plus in the field is an asset, come what may. Ravindra Jadeja gone already. Kuldeep Yadav likely to go on, uh, on an RTM. If you can get Akshar Patel for 6.75, I think Akshar Patel is, should be very happy with the money that he's getting. But for Kings 11 to retain a left armer who bats at 6.75, even though they lose 12.5, I, I think it's, it's all right. It is always on the card that Kings 11 were going to have a complete, uh, completely new run. Now the sun rises. Again, very predictable. I thought they might go with Rashid Khan, but remember, if you've spent 21 crores, you want a third player, there's an additional 12 crores. And if they've managed to agree terms, with David Warner for just about 12 instead of 12.5 with Bhubaneswar for 8.5 again I think that's a very good buy at 8.5 then you don't need to take out 12 for Rashid Khan how much will Rashid Khan go for in 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 the auction if he goes 7 8 9 you're still saving money no doubt they'll use RTM with Rashid Khan and then check out what they've got left for their RTM with Shikhar Dhawan. So again, pragmatic, SRH is going by the image that we have of SRH, much as KKR and Kings Live and Win with the image that we've got for them. Now, what about Rajasthan Royals? My gut feel was they'll somehow find a way to manage two. I had said in my, in my preview that maybe Ajinkya Rahane is captain because Steve Smith might be tired with a long season. But some of the overseas players say they actually come relaxed, not having to play for their country. So Steve Smith is the captain definitely around which RR are going to build their team. And I have absolutely no doubt they will use the R, uh, RTM for, uh, for Ajinkya Rahane. But otherwise expect a completely new squad from Rajasthan Royals. Now, I did not believe it when I first heard it. The biggest surprise of all has come from RCB. They've also been up front. Virat Kohli, they wanted to keep him 15 crores. Kohli thought he'll get much more. They've given Kohli 17. They've declared that 17 up front. I think AB de Villiers at 11 crores, that's about 1.7 million. I think it's fantastic value for money. I think in the auction, AB would have gone for 2 million, but he's agreed to stay at, at this number. And that's a great buy. Kohli, AB together. Wow, RCB have already started well. And then do they, stay? do they go Rahul? Do they go Chahal? Do they go Gale? Do they go Jadav? What do they do? No. All of a sudden, they surprise everybody and they go with Sarfaraz Khan, who hasn't played cricket for 12 months. He's, he's got a handful of IPL matches behind him. That was 2015-2016. Strike rate is fantastic. He played a couple of really good cameos, but his first class record is very ordinary. I know they've only got him for 1.75 crores, in, but I think they've lost three in the deduction. Sarfaraz back in the auction. I'm not sure would have gone for more than 1.75, but they obviously rate him. This could either be the big punt of the IPL or it could be Sarfra saying, thank you very much. You know what, at my age, 1.75 crores goes a long way. But that was the big, big, big surprise. And uh, well, just like, like RCB to do that. Now they've got so many options with their RTMs. Do they go Rahul? Do they go Chahil? They have to go with those two. Then what happens with Chris Gale? I think this is a statement that Chris Gale is going back into the auction. So there you are. What do you think of, uh, of all these retentions and the RTMs to come and the auctions? Do let us know. But uh, these are my thoughts.